Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the March Bright Crate, and I didn't take my label off the top, so I need to make sure I don't show that to anyone for my address and all that. But um, yes, always always excited to unbox Fright Crate. I will let people know ahead of time. I'm sorry I missed out on ordering the April Fright Crate, so there will be no unboxing for the April Fright Crate for me. I apologize on that one. It's Things got crazy in the world, and as I was trying to figure things out and, and deal with stuff, um, it just totally slipped my mind. And then when I remembered, I went there, and it was already sold out. So uh, sorry, there will be no April unboxing for me for Fright Crate, but I'm hoping to pick back up with the May one. I will make sure I remember that. So anyway, let's get to this one. Um, let's see what the quote is. Evil hiding among us is an ancient theme. John Carpenter. Love John Carpenter. Have been uh, fortunate enough to have met John Carpenter. I have a signed mini poster from The Thing, which is my favorite John Carpenter film. It's a lot of people's favorite John Carpenter film, rightfully, because it's amazing. Uh, I don't remember much... I don't remember, I think, any of the franchises for this. So as I go through this box, it's just going to be a surprise because I don't remember what the properties were going to be. All right, here we go. So paper. More paper. Oh, that's literally just like a piece of paper. Okay, more paper. More paper. It's kind of weird. Okay, something in a baggie. Oh, the pen. It's a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, oh, okay. I know what this one's from. Ooh, yeah. It will freeze your blood. The pin is the Prowler. I don't know how many people have actually seen the Prowler out there. Um, I I know Joe Bob Briggs covered it. Uh, I had seen it prior to Joe Bob covering it. Then I also watched it when he covered it. It's... It's a relatively boring slasher film, but the kills are very, very good. I've always thought that, so it's worth watching. But this pin is pretty cool. I like the green and black contrast to it. That's what's super cool about it. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. And um, what other boxes are going to do a item from Prowler? You know what I mean? It's nuts. Uh, there's like a Blu-ray or DVD in here, I think. I'll just. Oh, it's a CD. Okay. You know, I don't know if I'm feeling this. Uh, it's Elvira's Heavy Metal Halloween. Now, I got an Elvira DVD. It's actually sitting in the stack right here. Um, I got an Elvira DVD through this, so I'm kind of elvira out on stuff. Um, so I don't want any more Elvira stuff, but um, has Exorcist main theme, Frankenstein, Takata, and Fugue by Bach, Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven, Funeral March of a Marionette, uh, Godzilla, Phantom of the Opera, In the Hall of the Mountain King, Carmina, Barana, O Fortuna, ha and Halloween. I mean, this would be good to like put on during Halloween when you know trick or treating's going on or something. But I'm not, not really gonna listen to that. Not my thing. All right, next. What is? Oh, okay. So, ooh, ooh. I'm actually down with this. John Carpenter, Fear is Just the Beginning, The Man and His Movies, DVD. Hey, hey. One of the great Maverick directors of the past 25 years, John Carpenter changed the face of horror and action with a string of worldwide hits. A true renaissance man, he writes, produces, and scores his films as well and has proven himself with over 35 films from the big screen and television. Do, 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 do. It's a documentary. Wow, okay. I'm totally down with this because, and it's only 60 minutes long, so it's you know an hour hour long, pretty short. Uh, I love documentaries. Um, I'm definitely down to watch a documentary about John Carpenter. Obviously, I like the guy, so yeah, I dig that item. That's cool. That's cool. This is okay. So this is another movie that I have not seen, to be honest. And that is Silver Bullet. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my gosh, you haven't seen Silver Bullet. And probably, oh my gosh, you haven't seen Silver Bullet because you like werewolves. I know. That's another one on my list that I will be checking out. Now it's an eye patch from Silver Bullet. I mean, the logo looks good, but I don't want this. I mean, that's just a cheapy whatever item, in my opinion. Not a fan. Just not a fan. All right. Ooh, okay. Now we're getting to the good stuff. Um, 
this appears to be a resin piece from Serial Resin Co., which is a the witch mask, it looks like, from Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. I'm down with that. That's going to go on the side of my beer fridge. It looks pretty good. I like how it's very, like, muddy, murky looking, except for that red tongue, which looks nice. It's got a nice size magnet on the back. Cool, cool. I'm down with that. Uh, oh, that slipped out of its thing. And then, oh, let me check this. Before I do the resin piece, ooh. Okay. Um, a piece of artwork by Max Cave, who does a really good job. He designed this and, like, all the shirts that they do. Which, by the way, there's no friggin' shirt in here, which makes me unhappy because I would love the shirts. Um, the Peacemaker, this looks like it is. it's from Silver Bullet. And then, obviously, look, he's missing an eye, so that's why we got an eye patch. So Max Cave did that. I mean, it looks, you know, it looks good. He does good work. I just, I haven't seen Silver Bullet, but that's nice. When I see Silver Bullet, maybe I'll like it. Okay, so now the big piece in here, which is the resin piece. What shall it be? Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Now, this is a movie that I feel like doesn't get as much love as it kind of should. Uh, the Collector. I actually like The Collector. And I thought The Collection wasn't a bad follow-up to The Collector. So, yeah, it looks like the dude from The Collector. There you go. That's cool. The knife looks a little weird, though. Because it looks a little too large. And the way it's, like, it's like curved. That's a little odd. The knife doesn't look that great. It's a little messed up. But the face looks good. They did a pretty good job with that. All right. Um, and that's it. I think this is my least favorite Fright Crate, to be honest. Uh, the pin's pretty solid. This is pretty solid. The resin piece is pretty solid. And the... Um, I'm cool with the John Carpenter thing, but the eye patch, the, the CD... And the fact that there's no shirt, mm, that's what gets me. Anyway, uh, exclusive, the collector mini bust. Don't let him catch you. An awesome bust from Serial Resin Co. Roughly three inch piece. Exclusive silver bullet replica eye patch. Reversible eye patch that can be worn as a replica of the Reverend Low eye, uh, eye patch. Or wear it with the logo showing. One size fits all. Exclusive Halloween 3 witch magnet. Another offering from Serial Resin Co. to get you longing for Halloween. We all already are. Only exclusive to Fright Crate. We are still trying to get the jungle out of our... Or the jingle, sorry. Out of our heads. Yeah, I love that song. Uh, one DVD assorted. It was either John Carpenter Fears Just the Beginning, which is an amazing documentary, they say, or The Loved Ones, a modern-day horror classic. Yes, The Loved Ones is awesome. Actually, I would have been happy with getting The Loved Ones as well because I don't own that film, and I think it's a very good film. Elvira's Heavy Metal Halloween CD. Ever wonder what the Exorcist theme, Halloween theme, etc. sounded like with an injection of face-melting metal? Wonder no more. Cool collectible item as well. I wasn't big on it. Exclusive It Will Freeze Your Blood, The Prowler Pin. Two-inch soft enamel pin, double clutch, and custom back. Good. And exclusive Max Cave silver bullet art. Amazing art by our dear friend Max Cave, inspired from the iconic film. And then they don't, this time around, they don't have on here what the franchises or properties are going to be for the, for the April one. They usually have that on these, so sorry I can't give you that information now, but like I said... Another sorry, I'm not going to be able to unbox that because I didn't get in on time. But to be honest, when I saw what they were, I wasn't that excited. Uh, it's a lot of um, things that I'm just personally not excited about. But, you know, maybe you are. So go ahead and check that out. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, still a solid box. Like I said, it's not my favorite. And one of the biggest things is whenever there's not a t-shirt in it, I'm going to be at least somewhat disappointed because I really look for those t-shirts. But... Um, yeah, what's my favorite thing? Probably the documentary is going to be my favorite thing in here. Just because I'm excited to check that out. Because John Carpenter, baby. But anyway, thanks everyone for checking this one out. Um, do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe if you like anything that I do. Uh, that's your way to repay me. If you're already subscribed, hit the thumbs up. Just to let me know you're still watching. 
and then put some comments down here. Did you get this box? What are your thoughts on it? Did you like it a lot more than me? Did you like it less than me? Let's talk about that. Um, I'm fine with, you know, a, a miss here and there with, with Fright Crate is fine because they're so good typically. So thanks everyone for checking this out though. And until next time, keep it brutal.